morning beauties this is Sam from instant beauty um so I think I start every single video with um so <laughs> so uh, um <laughs> so I wanted to make a video another video about um, like a Google search video because I think those are so fun and I never know what I'm gonna get so I just googled um, why do my extensions dot 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 and what I got was tangle so easily. So could be the answer to that one could be because uh, the extensions themselves are probably poor quality, uh, or they're really old, and all the moisture has you know getting taken out of them, you know, through uh, too much heat damage, like with a straightener, or curling iron, or whatever. Um, so they could definitely be uh, maybe revived if that's the case with a really good treatment or conditioner. But if they're poor quality, then you're kind of out of luck because it probably means that there's some sort of human hair synthetic blend or something and uh, they tangle very, very easily. So uh, yeah, maybe you want to get a new set <laughs> if that's the case. So, so <laughs> theme of the video. So anyways, um, okay. So the next thing I got was, why do my extensions get knotted so easily? Okay, well that plays on the first one, guys. Just different words, basically. <laughs> okay, so if your, your extensions really do tangle that much, um, I would definitely suggest giving them a good brush before you put them in and keep a little brush with you because um, if they're constantly knotting, you know, you're, you don't want that look. It doesn't look good. Um, and also, if they are really good quality, you're sure that they're really good quality and they're still tangling so much, I would suggest getting a nice treatment, giving, you know, taking them off, giving them a beautiful treatment, um, maybe with, uh, like, underneath a dryer or something, just to act, get the heat on top of the treatment to activate it. Um, like, or, 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 I don't know, really, just replace them? I don't know. You have to see. Maybe cut them. Sometimes the ends can be a little bit dry because of excessive heat damage from the straightener. And then to avoid this happening, I would really suggest using a heat protectant spray every time you use heat on your extensions. Uh, this way, you'll get the longest life out of them and you won't have all these issues. So the next search that I got, so I said, uh, why do my extensions, dot, 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 look so stringy? So, um, if your extensions look stringy, it could be a few things. Could be stringy at the ends means like not thick, I'm, I'm assuming, not thick and um, scraggly and like, you know. So, either they're not enough, maybe your hair is super thick at the ends, like right now I'm not wearing extensions and my hair is just cut, cut so bluntly, so it looks super thick, even though it's not, but it looks like it is. So if I were to put on a couple of extensions, like on either side, <clears throat> they would have to be, they would have to match my thickness of hair. Otherwise, you'll get that stringy look. You'll get the look where it looks like you're just wearing a, a little single row of extensions and it's very, very obvious and looks like crap. <laughs> uh, but um, could also be that, you know, you bought your new pack of hair and it's you know, you got it online or something, or you bought them, and the ends are so fine. Uh, even though the top is really thick, and you paid, you know, an arm and a leg, and you got your 200 gram set, or whatever it is, but at the end of the day, um, some companies, they kind of cheat you a little bit, because they'll give you the 200 grams, but they'll ratio it all up at the top, because they mix short hair with the long hair. So yes, in fact, the ends are, let's say, 20 inches length in length, but most of the hair is only like 16 inches and then it just kind of gets very 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 thin at the ends and no matter how many extensions you put in your hair is still going to look really stringy at the end so if that happens send them back because that's that's very very um <laughs> i don't want to swear that's not very nice of them <laughs> you know because basically what they're doing is they're just making more money off of you saying that they're 20 inches but really just a little bit of the extensions are 20 inches and most of it's short so you know not a good uh, not a good company don't buy from them again so either if your hair looks stringy it's either because you need to put more extensions on or you um or you have that problem where you you know bought extensions and the ends are very fine and if that happens and you can't return them for whatever reason, my suggestion is to cut them as short as you can um, so that way the ends will look thicker and they will blend in. 
maybe they won't, you won't get the length that you want, but at least you can use your extensions and they, will, they won't look so stringy and ugly at the end. They'll be nice and thick all the way around. So guys, that was my suggestions uh, for the answers to my Google search. And I will definitely do another one of these videos and I'm probably gonna do it right now because it's so much fun. Okay guys, <laughs> we'll see you soon, bye.